A lot of questions here. Uh, it was kind of the uh, hope for the bond market, uh, you know, traders that something more would happen. It didn't. In the meantime, companies are having to cope with inflation. Uh, how does this all add up then for, for what happens next in the stock market? Uh, right. So when commodity prices started to rise about two years ago, there was wise uh, spread uh, skepticism about Japanese companies' abilities to raise uh, prices. But in the end, uh, Japanese companies slowly started to pass on higher costs. And initially, it was uh, started by food, mainly food companies. but. Uh, in the past month, we've seen uh, companies such as Bridgestone, the tire maker, uh, raising prices. And also there's a report that some Japanese car makers are raising their prices uh, of uh, EVs. Uh, so it, has be, it, has, it is becoming much more common. And even though uh, two, years, two years ago it, it felt almost as if Japanese companies had forgotten how to raise prices, mm -hmm. uh, it's becoming more widespread now. So how are stock markets reacting to these price increases? Yeah, so perhaps until last year, uh, when companies make announcement of price hike, uh, investors love, love that sort of announcement. And share prices typically ro uh, rose uh, for at, at least about a month. But the, uh, because the such announcements become so common that the shock value has dwindled quite a bit. Um, and in recent months, uh, when companies make uh, price hike announcements, well, it, they still make some positive uh, in, impact in terms of share prices, but the, uh, you know, the, the effect doesn't last long these days. And so we're seeing the law of diminishing returns in terms of the shock value of price hike announcements. Well, I'm wondering, you know, the wage, spring wage negotiations will be starting pretty soon in Japan. Uh, and I guess the, the, the good outcome, at least where, uh, for the Bank of Japan, would be uh, if, if firms are raising their prices, maybe they're going to use some of that money to give their workers, you know, bigger wage increases. Uh, on the one hand, uh, th that might make inflation stay higher. Uh, on the other hand, it would certainly be in terms of the whatever what the what the BOJ is looking for, maybe even what the prime minister is looking for, a step in the right direction. What do you see there? What are you hearing there? Yeah, I think that's the biggest debate at the moment in Japan. Uh, no one, unfortunately, has a clear idea on how this will unfold. Um, basically, economists, uh, many economists are still skeptical about the sustainability of price hikes at the moment. But on the other hand, uh, Japanese companies are very cash rich, and some people think that even a small amount of that cash will flow to uh, workers. Then. Uh, the inflation picture might uh, change drastically. Uh, so we'll have to see. Um, the wage uh, uh, negotiation will be probably one of the biggest focus for markets in, in the coming weeks.